Hey folks, David, NAC Builders here, doing another NAC functionality uh, video for you. Today's topic is, and you're reading this right, why connect an object to itself? You're all probably pretty familiar with uh, regular parent-child relationships or connections, one-to-many type things. Um, but sometimes it's actually useful to connect an object to itself. Uh, this video won't be very long, but I'm going to give you a couple of use cases for that. Thank you. Okay, folks, I'm back. Uh, I apologize. Actually, I'm in a co-working space in Medellin, Colombia. I'll do a video on that here pretty soon. But, uh, it's really noisy here. I'm using a crisp, if you know what that is. So, a noise, background noise suppression. And I think it doesn't make the actual noise good, should, but it's better than all the noise. So let's get back to this. Connecting, uh, connecting an object to itself. Uh, there's one use case I use a lot. Um, and I'm sure there's lots of them. Anyone can contribute some others if you want. But in, and I built this simple app to give a demonstration. Um, Things that are sort of rigidly secular, they have a life cycle and then it repeats itself. And in this case, I'm dealing with rental units. So we have different rental units and they all have a stage. It's sitting there waiting to be rented. It, it's rented. Then in this case, we have, it goes into, uh, let me just go, go to, it goes into what we call renovation. In renovation, they have to do whatever after a rental. Change carpet, cleaning, uh, cabinets, whatever. And then once it's completed, uh, renovation is completed, it then goes back to the first one. It is now ready to rent again. Uh, and this is just a cycle that goes over and over. And what we did is have a parent object, which is the rental unit itself, and then a history of each one. And we're capturing various information about it. This is really scaled down, but various dates, who's renting it, uh, the, the, the lease, or whatever. To do it this way, to keep a record of each cycle, you can do all kinds of measurements, uh, look back and see what's going on, all kinds of things. Again, this is really scaled back. But I'll show you how this works. Um, let's just take unit A1. Go to unit A. I set this up. It's currently rented by this person. And here's some dates. Now let's say Joe Blow moves out. Well, we could change the status. Now it's in renovation. I capture a date. It's the day. And we're going to submit that. Um, now we have more information. The rental or renovation crew, uh, maintenance staff does what they have to do to get it ready to rent. Now watch this. Now the renovation is complete. And there's other dates we can capture in here. We can make this much more remote, robust, but this is a point. Now no, renovation is now complete. We're going to submit that. Now it automatically created a new record. Connecting it to itself allows us to do that. So now the staff knows we have this thing that's ready to rent. We gotta now get on running it and it will continue through that exact same cycle. That is the use case for this. And it is accomplished, uh, by connecting it to itself. Here's how we do it. Again, we have the field and unit history that is connection to itself. Right here. Uh, I just did one to many. I'm not sure even how to be able to many to many, but this works. Let's go over to pages. Um, here's the detail page of the unit. Here's the ability to edit that. Click on engage the form. Go to rules. Let's make this wider. Record rules. Quite simple. We'll create a world rule that says insert a connected record. And in this case, we are inserting that record 
to itself. Um, and the condition is we're only going to do that when the renovation is complete and that new record for the new cycle of that unit is we're going to set the values. Um, the, we're capturing what unit it is. And then the status we're going to put back to, in this case, the beginning. And the beginning can start at any one of these pointers. It's a cycle. Uh, set it to ready to rent. So once it's submitted, the condition is it's completed. Um, it creates that new record. Now, if this was a real app, we're going to have to do more things. We're going to have to set some controls on this. Um, if they went, if it was ready or in renovation was complete and it already had created a new cycle, but someone went in here to edit this, uh, maybe a date was wrong or something that would meet the condition. And if they submitted it, it's create yet another one. So you'd probably have to a control feature of, uh, has a new cycle been created? Yes, no. It's at that value when you're setting up this stuff and uh, update that record. So it, it won't make another one. But that's it. It's that simple, uh, very useful. You probably do this also with Zapier and Tegramat. Uh, but in this case, that uh, connecting to itself allows us to do it natively. That's what I got, folks. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you.